Okay, so this video is gonna be a little different. There's gonna be a lot less of my crappy drawings and a lot more knowledge. I'm not gonna stop making rants or videos about my life, but I do wanna start something new, you know? Okay, let's start. So it all starts off with a guy named Isaac Newton. He was born in some year. I don't know, let me let me look it up. Oh, okay, it's uh, 19, I mean 1643. It's 1643, guys. All right, so this dude pretty much discovered gravity and he's a pretty cool guy for that. Say hi, Newton. Oh, wait, you're dead. Moment of silence. All right, that's enough. So gravity is a natural phenomenon by which all things with energy are brought toward one another. And gravity is the reason why you fall toward Earth and the reason why the Earth orbits the sun. Thanks, gravity. So Newton's discovery of gravity led many other scientists to theorize and calculate that there could be some objects like stars that have such powerful gravity that not even light could escape from their gravitational pull. And that's pretty much what black holes are. A huge, dense ball of blackness, just like my soul. Then a bunch of years later, come along Einstein, the god of physics himself. He expanded his theory of relativity and included gravity. And basically, his equations then demonstrated that the more massive an object is, the more it warps space around it, which is basically known as general relativity. This essentially created the theoretical basis for black holes. By the way guys, the idea of black holes is nothing new, and scientists have been imagining their existence for quite some time now. It wasn't until 1967, when a guy named John A. Wheeler first coined the term black holes. And a few years after that, the first stellar mass black hole was found. Singus X1. Kingus X1? Kingus X1. I... Alright, so now that we have a basic history of black holes, let's actually talk about black holes. For those of you who didn't catch it, black holes are basically super, super dense massive objects. So dense, in fact, that nothing can escape from their gravitational pull. Not even your mom. Or light for that matter. Yeah, if your mom jumped into a black hole, she'd be dead. Really, really dead. Mathematically speaking, anything can become a black hole if it could shrink into a small enough space, which is not possible. Literally anything, like your house, Mount Everest, and your mom. No, really, your mom can theoretically be a black hole. It's not an insult, it's a compliment. It's, very, it's a very nice compliment. But usually, only supermassive stars can become black holes. They're formed when a star runs out of fuel and begins to collapse in on itself. Its own gravity causes it to shrink smaller and smaller, but its mass stays the same. Its size will decrease while its density increases. After a while, it will compress into a singularity, an infinitesimally small point at which it has infinite density. Whoa! By the way, the Schwarzschild radius is the distance at which the escape velocity from a given object drops to the speed of light, which is 186,000 miles per second, or 300,000 kilometers for those non-Americans watching this video. This was named after Schwarzschild, one of the nerds who theorized the existence of black holes. The event horizon, by the way, is just the black part of the black hole. So anything that crosses the event horizon needs to go faster than the speed of light, which is really fast, like I just said. So fast. All right, so another thing to think about black holes is their size. They're so freaking big. So big. Like, look at this. Uh, oh, oh, God. Uh, uh. <laughs> Sorry, I had to throw up. Where was I? Oh, yeah, black holes. Some myths about black holes. If our sun turned into a black hole, we would all get sucked in and die. No. First off, you're gonna die a long before our sun dies. Second off, our sun is not nearly massive enough to become a black hole. And thirdly, we wouldn't get sucked into the black hole. From a distance, a black hole's gravitational pull is no different from that of any other object. You dingus. But yeah, we would all die if our sun turned into a black hole. Not because we would get sucked in, but because we wouldn't be able to grow food because, you know, we'd all starve to death and freeze, you know? Anyway, black holes are awesome, and if I could meet one, I totally would. You know, the dying part wasn't part of it. Alright, if you want to learn more about black holes, watch these videos by Vsauce, in a nutshell, and Crash Course. They're way better in my opinion, and they're actually interesting, because my videos really suck. Alright, thanks for watching, and as always, thanks for watching. Vsauce, yeah! So, do you guys like this new type of video? Because if so, I can, I can make more, you know? It's, it's kind of hard, but I can make more if you want. Alright, and also tell your mom that I'm sorry for mentioning her in this video. Okay, that's it. Bye. How long was this recording? 22 minutes? Oh, God.